It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brighton Beer and it's a can of their Freshman Vermont IPA coming in at 4.5% ABV. There's a look at the can. I'm a big fan of this brewery's beers. They produce some fantastic stuff 2016. Well, it's not been 2016. It's just that I found it in 2016. They're downtown Charlie Brown. Their Brighton beer, just absolutely great, just to name a few. Beer in the glass, then, wow, I can smell it from here. Lovely, slightly hazy, nicely carbonated. Very light coloured ale. It's uh, definitely looking like a pale ale. Uh, two finger, well, it's a white head that one. Uh, there's still plenty of beer in the can. So it's naturally hazy this one. Let's get the aroma. Oh, blimey. This is so punchy. You can, you probably heard me salivating now. I just kind of, just, Ah, just so much kind of aroma in there that's making my the, the whole of my mouth salivate. Saliva glands are going nuts. Oh, it's very tropical. There's mango. There's some nice kind of levels of sweetness in there from the malt. But then there's just some wonderful, wonderful piney grapefruit, citrus aromas, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Gonna dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh yeah, Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a beer. Follows on from the aroma, really, really kind of punchy, fruit bowl, mango, lots of pine, lots of citrus, lots of orange peel. Definitely orange peel. It's that mixture of bitterness and flavour. Slightly spicy, which again is that bitterness and that spiciness. I think for my own mind, for my palate, it kind of changes that into into spicy orange peel. Bitter orange peel, I should have said. But it's so easy drinking. This is incredibly, incredibly easy drinking. Nice levels of carbonation, pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases all of that flavour. It's very, very drinkable, drinkable, very, very refreshing. Nice levels of biscuity malt in there as well. In terms of the biscuity malt, it's nice and grainy, nice and light and grainy, biscuity, a little bit of sweetness. But this is all about that platform from that base malt that they've added. It's it's what they've done with it after this, that wonderful, wonderful, lovely hop finish on the beer, that lovely flavoursome, juicy, punchy, mango, tropical fruit, grapefruit, orange peel, lemon. It's, it's really an incredibly, incredibly well put together beer. Let's see if it is indeed can conditioned or unfiltered. It's just an unfiltered beer. You don't really see bits and pieces floating around, but it looks great. It looks really, really good. Let's see what the brewer says. Brighton Beer, Vermont IPA. WTF, lots of explanation marks, you know what that kind of means. What the f, you know. Uh, low hop bitterness, soft mouthfeel, juicy hop flavour and aroma, a highly drinkable IPA with an attractive hazy appearance. Is this a thing? Of course, I think so. And we think so, so, so they think so as well. Handcrafted in Brighton, unfiltered beer, store upright. This is fantastic i'm sorry if i'm not massively 
100% on form tonight. It was my Christmas party last night and I'm feeling just a little bit under the weather. But I assure you, I absolutely assure you, and that's why I'm kind of mentioning it, because um, really I should be dancing around the kitchen for this one. Um, but I'm just kind of struggling for a little bit of energy, that's all. Um, this is a staggering, staggering beer. Let's top it off then. Easy drinking. Nice look to it. Nicely carbonated. Lots and lots of flavour. Lots and lots of hop flavour, as I mentioned earlier. It's a great beer. Would I buy it again? Damn right. It's a big 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.